is today I'll be reviving my pothos. So pothos are very easy plants to care for and they'll tell you when they're unhappy or in need of attention. As you can see, the leaves of this pothos are very droopy and limp and feel flimsy, so that's a sign that it's in need of water. Other plants may even die if you neglect them just a little bit, but that's definitely not the case for pothos. You can leave it for weeks without care and it'll still be okay. So I haven't watered or given much light to my pothos in a while, but I'm going to show you a time lapse just so you can see how easy it is to revive after being neglected. And there we go, it's as good as new. As you can see, the leaves have risen right back up. They've got a lot of bounce to them now, and they feel really strong and tough, which tells me that they've gotten a good amount of water. This pothos has actually been needing to be watered a lot, so I think it needs to be repotted. I also see some browning on the leaves, so I'll get to that in a few days after the soil dries out a bit. Yeah, so it's only been about four days later, and this pothos is drooping again. Normally this isn't supposed to happen, so if you notice your pothos is needing to be watered frequently, then that's a sign that it needs to be repotted. So I'm just going to be moving this pothos from a 4 inch pot into a 6 inch pot. You're going to want to carefully pull the pothos out of its pot, making sure you're gentle with it. And you'll see that this pothos is root bound, meaning its roots have grown to be too much for this tiny little pot. And that's the reason it was needing water so often, because the roots were just so long and there wasn't enough soil for it. So you're going to tickle the soil in the root ball to loosen it up and get that old soil out of there. So you'll just have the roots to work with. And here is my potting mix. I'll put everything I used on the screen. The bark, perlite, and charcoal are great for aeration, which prevents your plants from getting root rot from water not being able to drain properly. And the worm castings are a great fertilizer. So just fill the new pot up halfway and transfer the pothos, making sure you space it out. Then you're going to fill up the rest of the pot slowly and spread the potting mix evenly, especially getting it in empty spaces and packing it in really well. You can see me pulling the leaves in and packing it in just to make sure I'm not leaving anywhere without soil. And after you're done filling it up, you'll want to thoroughly water it since it is all new soil and you don't want it to be dry at all. 